Kilo 404 Boxing. Shout out to Marlowe's Corner Trey X and the whole block fam. Shout out to the LDBC. Um, so, after a weekend, big fight weekend, he had Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz showdown. Deontay Wilder took care of business, stopped Luis Ortiz as he did in the first fight, only done it earlier um, in emphatic fashion. One punch knockout, just like he did Dominic Brazil. Wilder was patient. Um, he was calculating. He was uh, defensive. You know, make sure he, he was he was defensively responsible. Make sure that he didn't get caught with anything significant. Um, Ortiz was out boxing him, um, but only landing here and there. There was really nothing significant in the fight to say one guy was dominating the other guy in terms of what was happening prior to the knockout. But the judges favored what Luis Ortiz was doing and gave Luis Ortiz um, the lion's share of the rounds. I think Ortiz was up on all three cards by at least um, three rounds. So that's, I think on one, one judge's scorecards, they gave, gave Wilder one round, the other two, no, two judges gave Wilder one round, the other judge gave Wilder two rounds. So Ortiz was, uh, you know, if the fight continued in that pattern, and Ortiz never got called. He was on his way to boxing to a, a unanimous decision victory. But as we all know, Deontay Wilder has that great equalizer, that 10, um, that 10 run home run, you know what I'm saying? The um, 35 point touchdown pass, you know, whatever you want to call it, that can erase any deficit in a fight. And that's that, that hell of a right hand he has. I was on, um, Main Man Made Man's uh, live stream the day of the fight. Shout out to Main Man Made Man. May have been not the day of the fight, the night before the fight. And uh, you know, one, one analogy that I, I used was I said, you know, Luis Ortiz is like a guy that has a cachet of uh, high, high level hand handguns and you know, a couple rifles while Deontay Wilder has a, has a few handguns but a law rocket. You know what I'm saying? That once he hits you with it, it it's Katie Bar the door. It's lights out. Kiss the baby. And uh, that was on display. You know, Ortiz was using his skills to, to stay out front in the fight. But once Deontay Wilder uh, landed that money shot, it was a good night, Irene. So, uh, you know, we, that's what we saw play out. I can appreciate that as a boxing fan. As a boxing fan, but a lot of so-called boxing fans find criticism in that, you know, the guy has no skill, all he has is one shot. And, I'm, you know, and my argument with that is nobody can make it as far as Deontay Wilder has on one shot. These guys that he's fighting, have, they, they should know how to take that shot away if that's all he had. He has an uncanny ability to set his shot up with the other work that he does in rounds. And like I said, I can appreciate that. But these are the same people who criticize Floyd Mayweather for being a defensive wizard and being a very technical fighter who took very few risks but found a way, you know what I'm saying, to style and outpoint, outpoint his opponents and, and get the rounds in the bank to get the W. Okay? But, you know, so now that you got a knockout artist in the heavyweight division when you guys clamor for knockouts for years, you know, called the clinch goes boring, so forth and so on. But now you got a guy that's out here smashing everything in sight. You know what I'm saying? With, with overhand rights, straight right hands, just putting guys down and knocking guys out at ease. You can't appreciate him either. But you didn't appreciate the clinch goes with their boring, methodical fighting either. I appreciate the clinch goes, but I can also appreciate Wilder. And you know, the thing is now. You know, Wilder is dominating the heavyweight division. All of a sudden, the whole division is trash. That's what that's what one of the, uh, one of these trolls that hit my Facebook page said. You know, the whole the division is just trash. None of them are skilled. Fury's the only guy with skills. Well, Fury's skills got his ass laid the fuck out too. You know, excuse my language. But um, you know, be that as it may, these same guys when Anthony Joshua. When they perceived Anthony Joshua to be the the, name, the top guy in the division, when they thought Anthony Joshua was running shit, and they thought Anthony Joshua could beat Deontay Wilder, 
guess what? The division was solid. It was a solid heavyweight division. But now that it's clear that Deontay Wilde is the man to beat and that AJ can't fuck with him, guess what? The whole division's trash. Nobody has any skills. Uh, the only guys with a little bit of skills is Ortiz, and he's old. Fury has great skills, and it's the Floyd Mayweather of the heavyweight division. And Andy Ruiz has a little skill, but he's out of shape. That's the narrative these motherfuckers are pushing. And excuse my language, but that, that shit just gets under my skin. You know, um, give the man his credit for what he's doing. If a man is doing what nobody else done before him, he's doing something right that deserves to be credited. You know, and I hope that when, Deont when uh, Deontay Wilder steps away from the sport of boxing, that the Hall of Fame voters get it right. I hope there's none of that nonsense and BS about, well, he fought in a weak era, et cetera, et cetera, and find all these excuses, you know, because uh, a lot of these are the same guys that are criticizing him now. So I would hope that these guys give him his credit when he retires and steps away from the sport of boxing, regardless of what happens with his career from this point on. I feel like Deontay Wilder has already solidified his place with 10 successful title defenses in dominant fashion. Um, man, you got to give, give credit what credit's due. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And, um, you know, I will be back to talk about this further. But once again, a uh, big shout out to Deontay Wilder for um, taking care of business on Saturday night. Much respect to Luis Ortiz for giving a gallant effort. Um, and I want to see these other guys step up and face Luis Ortiz. Ortiz said he ain't going nowhere. He's going to be here in the sport. So he wants smoke. Who's going to give it to him? D-Lo 404 Boxing, I'm out. Peace.